What does the Bible say about quarreling, quarrel, quarrels, scripture, PDF, quiz? What does the Bible say about quarreling? The Bible is filled with passages that discuss the importance of living in harmony and avoiding quarreling. In fact, the Bible contains several warnings against quarreling, and encourages us to take the high road and to instead promote peace and understanding. Proverbs 15:18 says, A hot-tempered person stirs up strife, but one who is slow to anger calms contention. Similarly, Proverbs 17:14 says, The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so stop before the quarrel breaks out. And in James 4 1-2, we read, What causes quarrels and what causes fights among you? Is it not this, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. These passages clearly show that God does not condone quarreling and that He expects us to be peacemakers. 2 Timothy 2 23-24 verses 23 don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels. 24 And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. What does the Bible say about quarreling? The Bible is an ancient collection of books that are sacred to Christians and Jews. It is believed to have been written by divine inspiration and includes the teachings of God. One of the themes throughout the Bible is that of avoiding quarreling. Quarreling is defined as a heated, angry exchange between two or more people. It can involve verbal arguments, physical confrontations, or any other type of dispute. In this blog, we will explore what the Bible says is an abomination. Quarreling. This word is used in the Bible to describe those who quarrel, fight, and dispute. It is used to refer to those who are contentious and quarrelsome in their words and actions. Why quarreling is unhealthy The Bible states that quarreling leads to disharmony and discord. It can cause two people to become angry, frustrated, and resentful with each other. Quarreling can also lead to a lack of trust and communication between two people, as well as a feeling of isolation. If an argument is not resolved, it can even lead to physical violence. What the Bible says about quarreling The Bible states that quarreling is an abomination. This means that it is something that is considered to be morally wrong and abhorrent. In Proverbs 17 14, the Bible states that starting a quarrel is like opening a floodgate, so stop before a dispute breaks out. This verse is a warning to avoid quarreling, as it can have harmful effects. Quarreling in the King James Version of the Bible Audio Video The King James Version, KJV, of the Bible states the following about quarreling, and he that passeth by, and meddleth with strife belonging not to him, is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. This verse is a warning against getting involved in arguments or disputes that do not involve you. Bible verses that warn against quarreling There are several Bible verses that warn against quarreling. In Proverbs 23, it states it is an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife, but every fool will be quarreling. This verse is a warning against getting involved in arguments and disputes. In James 4 1, it states what is the source of quarrels and conflicts among you? Is not the source your pleasures that wage war in your members? This verse is a warning against allowing our desires to lead us into arguments. The harmful effects of quarreling Quarreling can have many harmful effects. It can lead to a breakdown in communication and trust between two people. It can also lead to feelings of resentment and isolation. Quarreling can also lead to physical violence if the argument is not resolved. Stress and anxiety. Quarreling can cause an increase in stress and anxiety levels. This can lead to physical and mental health issues, such as high blood pressure, depression, and difficulty sleeping, strained relationships. Quarreling can cause people to feel distant and disconnected from each other, leading to strained relationships and a lack of communication. Lack of trust. Quarreling can cause a lack of trust between people, leading to feelings of insecurity and mistrust. Loss of respect. Quarreling can lead to a lack of respect for one another, as each person may feel that their opinion is not valued. Poor self-esteem. Quarreling can lead to negative self-talk, which can lead to feelings of worthlessness and low self-esteem. Unhealthy coping strategies. Quarreling can lead to unhealthy coping strategies, such as substance abuse, self-harm, or other destructive behaviors. Missed opportunities. Quarreling can lead to missed opportunities to connect and grow with one another, as well as missed opportunities to solve problems and work together. The benefits of avoiding quarreling. One of the benefits of avoiding quarreling is that it can lead to more harmonious relationships. When two people disagree and can still remain civil and respectful, it can lead to a stronger bond between them. It can also lead to more effective communication and understanding. Improved communication. Quarreling forces couples to communicate their thoughts and feelings more openly and honestly. This helps partners learn to express their needs in a clear and direct manner. Additionally, couples can learn to have more meaningful conversations and develop better listening skills. Closer ties. Quarreling can help partners better understand each other's perspectives and build closer ties.